Hello, this is Brian Hogg here from the Events Calendar Shortcode, and just wanted to give you a quick demo on a couple ways you can customize the styling of the Pro version. It has a few different design options like this new default, the compact view, columns where it's in three columns, and so on. And even though there's a lot of options that you can customize things like the color of the events and the calendar view with, a lot of times you're going to need a bit of CSS. So I've got a page here with a few different example short codes, and say I want this text to not be bold. So if I right click and go to inspect, we can see there's no rule on this, but on the entire duration time, we can see there's this rule here, class ECS events, default, default one, so this first short code, then for the ECS event here, and then in the span with class duration and time, we're making the font weight bold. So the first thing you normally want to do when you're overriding a rule is copy the existing one. So I'm going to copy this entire thing here. And then since we're press 4.7, I can use the customizer. So I'll right click on customizer just to open it in a new tab. Scroll down to additional CSS. And down here I can add whatever CSS rules I want to use to override that look. So if I just copy and paste that one, and then say do font weight normal, so that it's not bolded anymore, and then publish. If I come over here and refresh, we can see that rule's not being applied. And we can see here that what we just put, the font weight of normal is being crossed out because this font weight bold rule is after the CSS that's within this customizer. So I have a couple options. One thing I could do, at least to make sure that the rule that I've got is correct, is add exclamation mark important to the end. This is really a hard force to see if our rule is correct. And you can see here already in the preview that the bold has gone away. So while that works, it's nicer to make it more specific if we can. One way we could do that is by using something like the post ID, if our shortcode is on this page and we want to customize it for this page. So we could add that to be the beginning of our rule and say page 28. Actually, sorry, post 28. Hit publish. And we can already see that if we refresh, our rule now is more specific than this one. So even though it shows up before in the CSS ordering, because it's more specific, it'll take priority. Even try using something a little more general, such as this page class on the body itself. So if I just do dot page and publish that, same thing, because it's more specific than the rule that we had before. This one for any page on our site will apply before this one, so we'll get the font weight of normal. Obviously, we could add other rules like font size, make that larger, whatever we want. You could also, instead of adding the CSS over here in the customizer, you could add it to your themes style.css. And we can do that by, in our WordPress admin, we can use appearance editor. And it gives you a warning because ideally you should make these changes a, they should be in a child theme, and you can look up how to make a child theme. And also you should edit using an FTP program. That way, if you make a mistake editing one of these files, you have a quick way to revert it by dragging in the original and a backup of your site. But for now, I'll hit I understand. And here you could add your CSS rules, say at the bottom of this file. And then add, say, dot page to make it more specific. Then we could update that file, and that'll be in our style.css. But again, if this isn't a child theme editing in this file, it'll get overwritten if we update our theme later on. So definitely using appearance customize and adding it under additional CSS is probably your best bet. So that's how you can edit some of the CSS within the events calendar shortcode and make the designs look how you'd like.